I have a long history with Zurita. I first came here in 2003, and I was an exchange student. Went on to pursue my doctorate in geology and became a, pro a professor at Humboldt State. I wanted to come back here with a group of students to work in Zurite to do both a scientific study and a study that, or in, in the project that would benefit the community. This project is about uh, understanding the water balance in uh, Zurite and its main watershed, the Ramos Chaca, and trying to figure out how to best to use that water to irrigate the agricultural lands around the community. My role in the project as a hydraulic engineer is to work on the canal system and help the community be better served by their irrigation, uh, available irrigation water. So we're up in the top part of the Ramos Chaca watershed, the upper Bofadal is what we call it. And spread out throughout the, the watershed, we have at least six different tasks that are happening simultaneously. First, we have Laurel flying the drone. Second, Logan is directing a team uh, and to take surveys of electrical resistivity topography. Third, we have a team of drillers that are drilling beyond 20 meters. Fourth, we have um, a team that's augering. Fifth, we have another team that is taking nuclear magnetic resonance me measurements in the holes that are being augered. Behind me, you can see a seismic line. That's six, and I'll throw in number seven. Alyssa is RTK, using the RTK GPS to get the coordinates of our seismic line and the resistivity line. Right now, we're at about 14,500 or 600 feet. Um, it's just a challenging altitude to work at. We're able to provide results that hopefully inform management decisions by the community of Cerrite is a huge privilege and deserves the attention of, of uh, resources and studying and capacity building. Meeting different students is a lot of fun. You get different perspectives and I think it's worth it. Definitely go find out if there's a program that you can get involved with. Do it.